Welcome to another video. Today, I will talk about my experience in McGill, more precisely, my first semester in McGill. I am Martin Gallois. This is my channel where I talk about my life as a student at McGill University. So make sure to subscribe if you want to watch more videos like this one. Uh, okay, so I just realized that actually what I filmed was super long. So I might do a two part video. And this is the first part to start off. My first semester at McGill was a long time ago. It was called Fall 2017. I was 17 years old, um, uh, coming from France, so international student. I spoke French and English, which is already an advantage for someone coming to Montreal, because it's always good to know the two languages when you first start to study at McGill University or any other university in Montreal. Uh, because both languages are used um, at university though uh, it's mostly English uh, you can choose to write your stuff in French but I never did it even though like it would have been easy to kind of write I mean like physics and math English or French is the same stuff it's it's just numbers so I had four classes in my first semester uh, physics 141 which was mechanics and waves a general introductory class in physics uh, math 133, linear algebra, math 141, uh, calculus 2, and um, ATOC 185, which is natural disaster, and it was uh, an elective. I've already talked about electives at McGill, so if you want to check that video out, click over here. So, concerning classes, uh, my advice and what I did uh, is basically the thing you've you've heard everywhere go to classes do the homework read the notes and study for exams you know nothing very surprising there and yet a lot of students including myself don't do all of that all the time but what i try to do at least is always go to classes for me that's very important to be able to ask questions even if you don't um in person during the class. I didn't do that my first semester. I didn't do that the first two years almost. But then I built more and more confidence and uh, and as I knew more people in my class, I was a bit less shy or less embarrassed to ask questions in class. So definitely ask questions because that is literally one of the stuff that is helping me the most this year in my final year um, at McGill. Because when I just don't understand, I ask a question. And during my first semester, when I didn't really understand, I used to do like, um, I'll understand later. But if you don't ask questions, it's very rare that you'll understand later by yourself. So the workload is, f for myself, a lot more than high school um, throughout the semester. Because uh, my last year of high school, I had a lot of classes and uh, final exams that were huge. In France, you have the, the, the final baccalauréat after three years of high school. And, uh, and it's, 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 it's a big deal. And you study a lot for it. And yet, I studied more for midterms in my first semester than for my baccalauréat in France. The level is literally, it's stepping up. Uh, it's a pretty big step between high school and university because you don't have a lot of uh, class time in university, to be honest, between 10 and 15 hours, depending on how many classes you take. The rest you have to do yourself. And uh, even though you can start university knowing that, you still have to do it yourself. Uh, go to tutorials. Tutorials are really important. Uh, and go to tutorials in even sometimes if you don't feel like you need the tutorials because it'll it'll be practice problems with people that can help you. Okay, so concerning social life, even though I'm joking about it in general, uh, it is very important to just try and meet new people in university. Honestly, it's the it's maybe the best time to uh, figure out not what you like, but also just be curious and just try new things. Uh, for some people, trying new things is um, trying to uh, chug uh, different alcohols as fast as possible during parties. That wasn't really my thing uh, because I just don't like alcohol. But my thing was to literally sign up to a lot of clubs and see what will happen. 
So I signed up to a dozen of clubs, I think, uh, Film Society, Chess Club, uh, Quidditch, um, uh, some theater clubs, some um, improv in English, just a bunch of stuff. And I was like, I'm going to check them out and see what I like from this uh, just group of clubs that I, that I signed up for. In the end, I, I think I stayed with like two clubs, uh, two or three. I stayed with Quidditch. I just tried it out to see what it would look like. And it ended up being a fun club, a great club for both athletic um, purposes and uh, having fun with other people, just going to tournaments and everything. Uh, McGill Quidditch is really a great club to be part of, and I'll probably do a more detailed video about it later. I don't have time right now. Um, also, I joined the French Theatre Club, and during my first year, I think, first couple of years, uh, they had some good improv uh, workshops that were run in a, in a certain, like on Saint Laurent in a certain room, and it was really fun. And now I am running those improv <laughs> workshops online. It's very different. And that's the thing. You have to, do, you have to try uh, different stuff, uh, like for clubs and for different events. Uh, and that's how you meet people. That's how you make friends. And you can also meet people that won't be your friends. And it's okay. There's so many people in university that it's okay if you see a bunch of people that you kind of recognize, but that you don't want to hang with, hang, hang out with. And that's the same thing in residence. I, I didn't know really people and I am shy. It's true. Even though I'm doing all these gimmicks and being like, mm, 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 I'm wearing a hat. I'm so fabulous. I'm so funny. I am shy when I'm around a lot of people that I just don't know um, when I'm new. Um, so I didn't really hang out with a lot of people in my residence. I did meet some cool people um, and, and it was okay. But I knew that residence wasn't really my thing and that... Um, uh, I was going to have like more friends in clubs or when I'm gonna when I was going to move out with some roommates uh, in an apartment the year after so a re residence can be your thing and you can literally like have a lot of friends there and have great events don't do necessarily like me and try to be in your own room because it wasn't the best thing at the time but at the same time I knew that it was going it wasn't going to be like that all the time. <sighs> this is getting a bit long, but I'm, I I still want to summarize other stuff that you should know about your first semester or your first year at McGill. Unfortunately, that will be something for a part 2 of this video because it's getting pretty long. But in part 2 I'll talk about um the different cool places to hang out on campus and also what to expect uh, during your first year in terms of exams and grades. So stick around for part two that I will uh, put a link over here uh, once I'll edit it and upload it. Thank you again for watching. I hope this video was super useful or at least a bit. Hmm. I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, watch the other videos and have a good time. I'll see you later.